morning everybody welcome to a new video hope you're doing well today is going to be an exciting one i'm just about to travel to rotterdam i have a client there who bought a house a couple months ago and he really wanted to have a big tank so he bought a custom built thousand liter aquarium i think i think it's a thousand liters it's literally built into the wall it looks absolutely insane and he reached out to me asking if i want to escape it of course couldn't say no to that so I'm just waiting for the plants and then we're gonna we're gonna travel there. So stay tuned. And we're here in a beautiful Rotterdam in a beautiful home with a massive tank. Look at this guys, this is absolutely insane. I think the tank is 110 by 110 by 88, so it's almost like a full cube. Roughly a thousand liters. So yeah, I think it looks amazing. It's not even escaped yet. Just trying to show you something of this beautiful home. A really nice view on the water. So yeah, it's not a, not a bad setup that we have going on here. So as you can see, the aquarium is sort of built in to the wall. So there is no way to kind of access it from the front. And that is the behind the scenes, the backside of the aquarium. Absolutely massive. So I'll try to climb on these small steps. So this is how I'm going to be working today. It's going to be quite a challenge. Below the tank we have the sump. Looking really good. It's a bit hard to see, but it's quite new for me. I've never really worked with a sump before. So it's, uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. So I'm super excited to get started with this build. We have some beautiful pieces of hardscape. Some really nice pieces of wood, some really dark stones. And we have a huge selection of plants going in here as well. So I'll try to film as much as possible, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, a difficult challenge to film and build the hardscape and do the planting as well. So I'll try to film as much as possible and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so what I just did is I filled a few bags with Aquasol. Like regular viewers of the channel will know that I always use Aquasol as a substrate. But if we were to only use Aquasol in this aquarium, <laughs> that would be too way too expensive. So what we did is we just filled some media bags with Aquasol. In total, we used like one and a half bag of soil. And then we just placed these bags into the places where we're actually going to be planting. So in the front, there will not be that many plants. So now we can cap this with a nice cosmetic gravel, cosmetic sand, and um, then begin with our hardscape. That's the substrate done. In total for this, we used eight or nine bags of gravel and each bag was 10 kilos. And I quite like how this gravel is almost the same color as the furniture in the living room. Next, we are starting with the hardscape. And for this, we're using some beautiful pieces of wood. This wood is usually called millennium wood or azalea wood. And this stuff requires a little bit more work than other types of wood. We have pre-soaked these pieces for a couple of weeks and they released quite a bit of tannins and besides that also a lot of slime. That's the hardscape about 90% done. Later on we will add some small details to finish the layout. But first, let's move on with the plants. We have a total of 57 pots, carefully selected to suit this large aquarium and the layout. We will not be injecting CO2 in this aquarium, so I made sure I only selected plants that will grow fine without CO2. So we have a variety of crypts, Anubias, Java and Bobitis ferns, different types of Echinodorus and a few other types. I will leave the entire plant list in the description box below. 